And this is where we used to run to. Every little second we got. I don't think there was any point and I thought I'd reach this level in the NBA. St. Croix Virgin Islands seems like an ideal setting to develop a budding championship swimmer. And Tim Duncan was well on his way until Hurricane Hugo destroyed his local pool and steered him toward another athletic pursuit. Basketball became his passion and his play made him a college prospect. Tim graduated from Wake Forest University, a promise he made to his late mother. After being named College Player of the Year in 1997, he was ready to take the next step. With the first pick in the 1997 NBA Draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Tim Duncan from Wake Forest University. As a rookie, Duncan was already a finished product, amazing his teammates with his maturity and high basketball IQ. I was learning from him. I, he came in with a, a tremendous skill set. I was incredibly impressed. I cannot overstate that really within two years, he was one of the top players in the league. Oh, 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 man, what a finish. This guy is everything that you want in a basketball player. And it was in his second season that Duncan led the Spurs to new heights. Puts it down, comes baseline, spin over the top. Good, the San Antonio Spurs win their first ever NBA championship. Four seasons later, Duncan and the Spurs were back on top of the basketball world for title number two. It was easier to follow because the franchise player was leading by example. His leadership and his mentorship was huge for the whole organization. Tim Duncan collected two more championships in 2005 and 2007. Everything was about what it took to win. Those titles obviously don't happen without him. Then, in 2014, at 38 years old, Duncan would cement his status as the centerpiece of one of the NBA's all-time great dynasties. Duncan for the finish, once again spectacular. It's time to celebrate, San Antonio. The Spurs have captured their fifth NBA championship. If you thought because Timmy didn't show a lot of emotions or had a poker face a lot that he wasn't a great competitor, you, like nothing could be farther from the truth. There was nothing you could do to intimidate him. He wasn't ready to, to, to play against Tim Duncan. He would destroy you. Against Nowitzki, three seconds, Duncan shoots, Scott, and the Spurs win! He was one of the best all-around players, I think, that, that we have seen. And of course, on the defensive end, he was a force. A five-time NBA champion, two-time league MVP, and a three-time finals MVP, Tim Duncan also was named to a record 15 all-defensive teams, as well as capturing all-NBA recognition 15 times. He's the only player in NBA history with 1,000 or more wins with one team, which he amassed during his 19 seasons in San Antonio. To this day, if we're out at dinner someplace, we still raise a glass, say, thank you, Timmy. And that's the truth.